Hi, I'm Belinda Carney, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot, how can you make a clear lipstick with a flower or something else inside? So today I'm going to show you how. Now one of the things when making these products, I have already made a video on clear and colour changing lipsticks. Now in this video I use starting materials that you'd need to buy relatively large proportions of. So it would suit a larger manufacturer. But in this video I'm going to use an almost ready blend of materials that come straight from a supplier. And while you still need to buy a fair bit of the raw material, it's already blended and mixed so you can just get making your finished product making it very economical, even for small brands, especially with limited equipment. So now let me show you how to make this beautiful clear lipstick and suspend a flower or something else inside. So here is the product we're gonna be making today. Now to do this, I need a couple of things that you can get easily. First of all, I'm using some T2 Just Rose Tea. As you can see in here, we have some beautiful rose petals. The other great thing about using materials from a tea supplier is they're food grade, which means they're fine to use in your lipstick products. Now to make this product super simple, I'm using this material here. It's Versastic Clear SQ5T by Penrico. You can see how clear it is and how solid it comes as a raw material. Now this makes up the bulk of the formula. It does contain squalane in here. It's not completely natural, but it has that squalane base, which means it's fantastic to use on your lips. And being ready-made like this, I can simply melt, mix, and pour. Now, Penrico also have a fantastic gel product. This is VersaGel SQ500T. And this material is again another beautiful, clear gel type product. This one is fantastic if you want a ready-made base with Squalane that you can use as a super glossy lip gloss. It's got that fantastic lip feel to this product as well. And again, you can make very simple mix and make type products using this base. And it's got a fantastic lip gloss feeling on the lips. So now back to our lipstick. What I have here is I have the Versastic material already measured out. I just need to heat this and then once it's heated and melted, I can add a very small amount of a plant oil for my product story. I could add some flavors and an antioxidant here as well. So first we heat this Versastic until it has thoroughly melted. Now this does need to be heated to quite hot. Uh, that's probably the, the trickiest part of putting this formula together. Once it's completely melted, we can remove it from the heat. And we can add our plant oil and antioxidant, any flavoring you wanted to add at this point and we mix that through. Now what you also need to do is prepare your lipstick molds. As you can see here, I've just put a rosebud into two of these plastic molds. And then once that's ready and you've got your rose petal already in there, you can pour the product in. And of course, you can make a totally clear lipstick if you want as well. Now, the reason I put the rose petal in first is as you can see, it will raise up. So you can push this down if you need to. Just remember the very base of your lipstick is going to be in the container. So to see the actual rose, you would need it down in the product at least a little so that the consumer can see it. Now we leave that to set overnight and have a look at it the next day. 
So here we go the next day, we open up our moulds and there you can see we've got our roses suspended in the product and also you can make a perfectly clear lipstick if you want. Here's the product here and it applies beautifully and soft onto the skin and yet a really nice stick consistency so it won't break when applied to the lips. Well there you go, that's how easy it is to make a clear lipstick with a flower or other material inside. Remember to use food grade materials, using tea supplies, make sure they're safe for consumption because you do lick your lips. Now if you contact Penrico Direct, they can provide you with details about minimum pack sizes on their Versastic and Versagel products. It does make your formulating easy if a little bit of synthetic material is fine. The products are very stable. And of course, if you need to buy a bigger pack and want to split them, make sure you join our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group and see if someone near you will split a pack with you and then you can create these fantastic products even as a small brand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!